Is everything still awesome with the Lego Movie 2 or is this film stuffed and overblown? Check out our real take coming up. So like the first Lego movie, Lego Movie 2 includes a slew of voice actors, most prominently Chris Pratt, Elizabeth Banks, Will Arnett, and Tiffany Haddish. Yes, our hero Emmett is back along with Wildstyle in this animated film, which unfortunately, Lenny, let's face it, is overblown, overstuffed, a little bit erratic, yeah. all over the place for a little while. Yeah, I mean like, <laughs> who needs a plot, right? But, but let's let's go with it anyway. So you have Emmett trying to rescue Wildstyle and his friends from an invading alien force and along the way he meets this mysterious and exciting character named Rex Danger Vests. He remains sort of like a mystery you yeah. know, figure throughout the movie so we won't talk much about that. The first Lego movie was a unique film because of its pop culture references and man there's oodles of them in the first one and again there's lots of they them in this one. They multiply that for this one. <laughs> they really do Yikes. you know and they're very subtle at times very in your face at other times and this is confusing to me me because this is a movie that I feel is aimed at kids right but come on those references are gonna like go over their heads yeah unless they're just a little bit older kids but at the same time this is a movie that relies way too much on overstimulation and not so much oh. on an interesting plot yeah it's 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 all over the place for a while you're trying to follow this plot you know the characters venture into different places across the, the you know, space this is very much right. like a space movie you know yeah. you just don't know exactly where it's going until finally more than I would say halfway through the movie in the third act right. it starts to slowly like come together and make a little more sense the film becomes basically a metaphor right this big right, metaphor right. for growing up for growing maturing, up for maturity for sibling rivalry holding you know? on to your youthful convictions exactly and of course you have the parallel world you know shown of right. the kids playing with the Legos and the Legos coming to life right right I mean, that's neat. That is neat. And the Lego characters, they mirror what the kids are feeling who mm -hmm. are playing with them. So the whole the whole idea of maturity growing up, and that's actually a big conflict in the movie between Emmett and Wildstyle, right. you know? Because Wildstyle is like, hey Emmett, you need to grow up. They do inject a lot of themes that are aimed toward kids, but I kind right. of felt like, man, they just pound you over the head with those sometimes. And, they really and I do. get it. Again, this is aimed at kids. And going back to what you said about the movie, you know, after it <laughs> goes all over the universe, it, it does try to come back, right? Right. And I, I see what they try to do there, but they muddle through that. They try to pack way too much toward the back end, and I thought the twist was lame. It came out of nowhere. I mean, well, it, uh, it, it was just lame. I don't want to give anything away. Yeah, yeah, lame. yeah. It wasn't that significant, I guess, but it played into the whole themes of maturity right. and a uh, little little time paradox little thing going on there. Yeah. That doesn't give too much away. No, I don't, I, don't, I don't think so. Going past the plot, moving on to some characters. My favorite characters were that, yeah, that Rex Danger Vest guy. I thought found him entertaining. He was like a Han Solo type, you know? character yeah kind of indiana jones indiana and jones, all mixed into one right. so I, I liked him i also liked tiffany haddish's character of i uh, hope i say it right queen whatever wanabi i think yeah. is what her name was yeah w w waga banabi <laughs> yeah i loved her voice acting i, I loved the writing of the character i especially the best part of the movie for me was i loved the songs oh Lenny. Oh, God. <laughs> I thought they were funny. We are going to highly disagree. Oh. That first musical number with Haddish as Queen Whatever was cringy, man. Ah, uh, well, you know, and, that wasn't and, my favorite. There and, were two and, other songs my, I think she had that were awesome. Okay, well, that were awesome. They were uh, awesome. Awesome. <laughs> but I, I think I get what they were trying to do. I think that what they were trying to do is kind of satirize, you know, like Disney movies a little mm -hmm. bit, how they break into song and dance, you know, and stuff like that. And I think that that's what they were playing on, you know, because she's a queen. They're playing I, a lot of irony, too. They do, but I didn't like it. I thought uh, it was cringy. Really? Yeah, I Sorry. like the last one when she was singing to Batman. You didn't, you didn't like that one? Okay, well, I mean, that, it was funny. It was funny. I, out of all of them, it was the funniest. I do agree yeah, with that. that. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of funny, let's talk about the jokes in this movie really quick. Okay. I think, personally, that the jokes were a little bit inconsistent. And what I mean by that is that some of the jokes were really laugh out loud funny, but others were just so lame. Yeah, they didn't land. A lot yeah, of them and land. they didn't land. They're trying land. too hard. Some of the jokes were really subtle, and if you weren't 
weren't really paying attention or you don't have the background knowledge right. for the, the you know, pop culture references to movies and comic books and you know Jurassic Other Park, franchises Star like, Wars, everything, yeah. you, you weren't going to get them. But overall, I was laughing, I suppose, you know. I think I laughed out loud maybe twice. Maybe twice? Maybe twice. I think I heard you laugh about five times. No way. Yeah, maybe six. Six? Okay, yeah. seven. Why not eight? Yeah, I think a little bit more. Okay. So what's our verdict on this movie? Well, if you want to bring your kids to this, obviously they're going to have a ball because their eyeballs will be all over the place, right? Oh yeah, they're going to have a blast for <laughs> sure. Yes, they're going to love this and they're going to be hocked up on sugar and yeah, they'll, they'll be happy the whole day. Yep. But as far as us critiquing this movie from our lens, uh, I would have to give this a real rating of three reels. Three oh. reels. Wow. Okay. I, st right. I still would say I enjoyed this better than The Nun. I actually, I guess, enjoyed it slightly more than you did. Wow. Just slightly. Just ever so slightly. This is this is weird. Okay, this right. is this is a little weird. Yeah. So um, <laughs> I usually give it a lower score. I know. I'm gonna give this three and a half reels. Again, I'm I'm a big pop culture person. Yeah. I, I really like the references in the movie. I especially enjoyed some scenes involving some raptors. The story had its nice moral. Good for kids. Adults enjoy will enjoy it. You know, adults will definitely kind of yeah, they'll enjoy it. it. They'll enjoy it. You know, it's a good time the messiness of it is what brought it down for me so messy so messy but three and a half reels for me okay there you go guys so hopefully you guys enjoyed this review and as always we ask you guys comment down below let us know for being too critical of a kid's movie or if you thought you know this was yeah yeah this was way too crazy my kid has ADD and we're not taking him to watch this one <laughs> how does it compare to the first Lego <laughs> movie and of course as always look us up on Facebook at real screeners and Instagram real dot screeners and if you like our reviews don't forget to hit that subscribe and bell button. And thanks once again to the Alamo Draft House. As we always say, it is great service, guys. It is beautiful films. I love the sound in the theater. You feel like you're right there in the action. And join us again for some more Real Takes on Movies. Is all as awesome with Lego 2? No, is all <laughs> What are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> Lego Movie 2, Pratt. <laughs> Lego Movie 2. Well, you, what you can say is that... Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that sounds funny. <laughs> okay, all right, I mean, I'll try to say his last one. Let me start over again. From the very beginning? Yeah. You can start after Haddish. No. Okay.